Hey folks, welcome back to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. So yesterday we talked about EC3 leaving the company and uh, latest latest departure. I'll say it's kind of rumored at this point, but I mean it's it's um, just because it hasn't been you know made official, but it's pretty much official. Bobby Lashley is now the latest to go. Um, if you have any kind of I don't want to say common sense because I don't want to offend anybody, but if, if you have any kind of level head whatsoever, I, I think you probably expected this. Sometimes we can be in denial and sometimes we can be overly optimistic. But I think for the most part, everyone saw this coming. The whole thing about him choosing between professional wrestling and MMA was not, you know, just a storyline. He really was going to, and he, he said that in an interview that he really was going to choose. Now at this age, he was, you know, what was what was left for him to do in Impact Wrestling? He was not a he was not he was not like a Brock Lesnar part timer, you know, by any means. I mean, this guy, this guy put in some work. He was a champion for the better part of the last couple of years, very dominant champion. So what could he do at this point? I mean, he, you know, main evented uh, at least two out of the last four pay per views. Could even be three. I, I'm not exactly sure at the moment. But he's been in that world title scene. He's been in a main event scene. The the storyline, even though it started off really flat with Jeff Jarrett, it ended up being pretty uh pretty decent in my opinion with Dan Lambert, and uh, that's a big loss too because he's been one of the best parts of the show. But um, there wasn't much less left for him to do with the company. Now I was talking to Kyle, former former host of the show. We were talking on uh I think we were. Is either Facebook or we're texting, but as much as we don't want to admit it, sometimes as Impact Wrestling fans, um, a lot of people get really offended by the minor league comment or you know the college basketball comment or whatever it is, you know. But Impact kind of is the college basketball of wrestling, you know. And this is the same for Ring of Honor. I'm not I'm not just um, talking about Impact, but the fact of the matter is there is going to be a revolving door. Now, these people, and I'm sure I'm going to get in these comments too, you know, um, oh, has anybody left? Everybody's leaving. It's not like the roster is getting gutted. <laughs> I mean, obviously somebody leaves, someone shows up. I think more new faces have shown up in the set of tapings than people who have left. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's just going to be the nature of being a fan with Impact. It's kind of the cool thing, but at the same time, it's like, one of the things that frustrates us quite a bit. The reason I say it's one of the cool things is that it, as much as it is a revolving door, we do get to see new faces a lot, a lot of debuts, um, a lot of new pushes. And if you, you know, like watching the E product, it's the same guys, you know, over the course of the last several years, same guys in a main event scene. Everyone has the same gimmick. Everybody looks the same, you know, at least we do get some change. Now that can be very frustrating because we want to see certain names, you know, get locked down for the long term, but that's just not the case. So um, in this case, it appears Lashley is gone, and you know we, we got to thank him for what he's done because he he's a big name. He was really the last remaining huge name um, in the company, and you could argue Storm and EC3, but you know Lashley is the one. Uh, he was the biggest name left. But guys like Storm, EC3, Lashley, you know, they had pretty large salaries. And the company is not going that direction anymore. So you had to see it. The writing was kind of on the wall. This gives opportunity. Maybe Brian Cage starts stepping into this role. Maybe someone who's not here yet steps into this role. So hang in there, folks. Lots of good things are happening with Don Callis and Scott Moore right now. I, I'm being told this has been some of the best television they've put on in a long time. That the matches are all, um, they've stepped up their game in ring quite a bit. And I've, I've been told really good things, folks. So so just kind of keep your head up. I know that it hurts a little, whether it's EC3, whether it's Lashley, and whoever, you know, could be Eddie Edwards next. We don't know. I know it hurts, but good things are coming. We're going to get new and fresh faces and it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be a great 2018. Thanks for listening. Please hit that subscribe button if you're a first-timer. Talk to you next time. Peace.